We're heading into the best time of year to pick up a brand new video editing laptop. Not only am I gonna show you the laptops that most commonly go on sale throughout Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday season, but I'm gonna help you pick the right laptop for your specific needs. Whether you're working on 1080p, 4K, or 6K video editing, I'm gonna make sure you get the right one. Jumping into the entry-level video editing laptops, these are laptops that are great for 1080p and some light 4K. I think the HP Pavilion Plus, the Acer Aspire 3, and the Asus ZenBook 14 are all fantastic for 1080p and could even get into some light 4K video editing. And by light 4K video editing, I basically mean a singular clip with maybe some music, nothing too complicated, nothing over 20 minutes long with the final project. That export time just might take a longer time if you're over that 20 minute timeline on your project when you go to export. So just keep in mind, you might wanna bump up to like an i7 1260p as opposed to the i5 1235U or i5 1240P. It'll just give you a little bit more boost in performance. Now looking at the Apple MacBook Pro Air M1, this would be a solid entry level 4K video editing laptop as well as the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 360, whether you get it in the i5 1235U or the i5 1255U. Again, these are laptops that are commonly going on sale. I'm gonna place links in the description below. So as we jump into the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals, you can check the live pricing. And if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Next up, we have the entry level to mid-range 4K video editing laptops. The HP Victus is one of my favorite budget-friendly laptops because you can get it below the $1,000 price point and it'll make a fantastic 4K video editing laptop. Now, the Acer Swift 3 14-inch makes a great 1080p to light 4K video editing laptop. One of the things that really stands out about this laptop is the 100% color gamut range that that OLED screen captures. When you get to some of these more budget-friendly laptops, they usually come with more budget-friendly screens and the Acer Swift 3 14 inch laptop actually has great color gamut range. So keeping an eye out for that laptop, if you're looking for great color gamut range, could be a huge benefit to you. I actually have one of the models right here of the Acer Swift 3 OLED, thin light on the go friendly and comes with a gorgeous OLED display. Next up will be the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. This is one of the best optimized laptops with the i7-1260p processor. It throws down for video editing, photo editing, graphic design, and digital art. It is a very powerful version of the i7-1260p. Samsung and Intel work together really well with that laptop and it gets some of the best benchmark scores I've seen out of that processor. Now, if you're getting into video editing a little bit more seriously, you might wanna check out the Acer Swift X. That has a dedicated GPU and it has the i7-1260p. 60p. And so it's a really great bang for buck, best of both worlds for 4K video editing. Now looking at the Dell XPS 13 Plus, I have that model right here. This is one of my favorite laptops as far as thin and light laptops are concerned. It's very futuristic. Um, what I love is the trackpad is actually invisible. It sits right here between the space bar and the control key. This is an OLED display, so it has fantastic color gamut range, has a snappy i7-1260p processor, and this one's usually going on sale during the holiday season. Season. So can't beat the Dell XPS 13 plus. Next up, the best bang for buck 4K video editing laptop by far out of this, probably this entire lineup is the Lenovo Legion 5. My community goes nuts over this laptop. I love this laptop. It has a fantastic price point. It has great performance and it has solid color gamut range. I think it usually gets around the 95 to 99 sRGB, which is good for video editing. Now, the crazy thing about this laptop is you could actually do some 6K video editing with it as long as you get the RTX 3060 GPU or higher. The RTX 3050 Ti just for me just doesn't have the punch that you need for 6K video editing. However, it would be great for 4K video editing. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros. And as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscriber mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now the next laptop on the list is the Dell Gaming G15. This comes in both an i5-12500H and an i7-12700H, and of course the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3060. 
great 4K, uh, and even some 6K if you get the RTX 3060 version. One of my favorite laptops for the year regarding battery life and on-the-go friendliness would have to be the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X13, often on sale during the holiday season for a great price point. I think this normally comes in around the $1,500 to $1,600 range, and during the sales, it can be as low as $1,200, so keep an eye out for this one. Great battery life, great performance for 4K video editing, so thin and light. It's a, it's a favorite of mine. Next is the Apple MacBook Air M2. This one's going to perform quite a bit better than the M1 version. Not, you know, to the point where you're doing 6K video editing, but it's going to be a little bit snappier with the current M2 processor. The HP Omen is a great pick because it comes with a 100% sRGB screen on that 16 inch laptop. It's powerful, it has a great GPU, the RTX 3060. And so if you're thinking between the HP Victus and the HP Omen, they're pretty much neck and neck. The biggest difference is that the HP Omen comes with an aluminum keyboard deck where the HP Victus does not. So it's a little bit better build quality compared to the HP Victus. Now next, as we move up the mid-range 4K to 6K video editing laptops, the best bang for buck on this lineup would be the Asus Zephyrus G14. Around $1,649 retail, I've often seen it as low as $1,300 during the holiday sales, and you can get this laptop with the RX 6700S, which is a fantastic 8 gig VRAM equipped GPU. It is such a great laptop. I really like it. It's thin and light, on-the-go friendly, great battery life. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. Now, if you're wanting to step it up a little bit and see even more performance, one of the best performing laptops of the year would be the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X16. This is a two-in-one laptop, so it's great for digital artists, photographers, graphic designers, and it has incredible performance with the Ryzen 9 6900HX and the RTX 3070 Ti. Now, this laptop normally is around the $1,900 price point, um, but I've seen Seen it as low as $1,700 ish. So keep an eye out for a good sale on that laptop. It is the high recommended one for me personally. Now, the next laptop is the Lenovo Legion 7 and 7i, and this is the slim version. This laptop really stood out to me. I had yet to test the AMD Advantage version, which comes with the RX 6800S GPU. If it were me personally, I would go for the AMD version because it's going to get better battery life uh, and it's going to still have great cool temperatures. So one of my favorite laptops of the year. Definitely one to keep an eye out for. Eye on for sales. Legion 5 Pro and 5i Pro. Two laptops that are priced very reasonably in general. And so when you can find one of these laptops on a sale, they are one of the best performing laptops for creators going. They're a little thicker, a little more on the gamer vibes, but if you're looking for a powerhouse for performance, the Legion 5 and the 5i Pro. The 5i is actually slightly more powerful. You're going to get slightly better results because of the Intel, uh, especially for video editing if you're using Premiere. Pro. However, the 5 Pro, which is an AMD equipped version, is going to get about an hour better of battery life. The Alienware M15 R5 comes with a Ryzen 9 processor and an RTX 3070. This is actually a really well equipped laptop for a great price point at a retail value. And so again, if you can find this one on a sale, it's, it's, a, it's a good pick. Now, next up is the MacBook Pro lineup. These are all fantastic for video editing. The biggest benefit for the MacBook Pro lineup is you can run full performance on your laptop and still have great battery life. A big common drawback for getting a Windows laptop is the fact that if you are not plugged into the charger, you do not get full performance out of the laptop. The Apple products do not have that bottleneck. If you're unplugged away from your charger, you can still get full performance. It's a huge advantage. These don't go on sale too much. You can get $100, $200 off maybe during the holiday season, um, but it's a great time to buy. So definitely check the links below to see if the pricing is right for you. Moving on to the high-end laptops. This is the MSI Creator M16. It's solid setup with the i7-12650H and the RTX 3060. Good laptop, great performance, and good color gamut range. Now, the Lenovo Legion 7 AMD version is a beast. This has a 12 gig equipped VRAM card. It didn't perform as well regarding playback for 6K as I would have expected. It still did very good with about 349 drop frames out of 16,177, which you will not notice. So this thing has a really good equipped um, drop frame rate in B-Raw. However, in red footage, it still dropped about 2,200 frames out of the 16,177 in the project during my tests. 
And, and so it's good. It's really, really, really good. Um, but I just, I thought it'd be a little bit better. But, you know, I can't be too picky. Uh, this one's priced at around $2,100, $2,200. I, I would hope that you could pick this one up for under $2,000 on a sale. But again, links will be in the description below if you want to check that. Now, the Gigabyte Aero 16 OLED is a laptop that doesn't get a lot of press. However, it is very well equipped with the i7-12700H and an RTX 3070 Ti. Now, this laptop has fantastic color gamut range, great build quality, and great connectivity. Um, however, one drawback to this laptop is the fan modes don't really work as well as I would hope. So like if you put it on silent mode, it really isn't that silent. And if you put it on like powerful mode, it's really not that much powerful. It's kind of a weird glitch where the fan modes don't do as much. And the downside of this is it doesn't have the best battery life. And so if you're looking for a laptop with battery life, I wouldn't personally recommend the Gigabyte Aero 16. I'd recommend something AMD equipped, Lenovo Legion Slim, the uh, Asus Republic of Gamer X16, the G14, those are great laptops for battery life. The Asus ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. Can I get an amen? Still one of my favorite laptops. This comes with the coveted dial. Uh, this is actually a big productivity booster. This dial is fantastic. You can scroll through your timeline. You can go ahead and Photoshop, change your brush size, switch brushes, yada, yada. It's a really nice tool and it's located at a very convenient place for you to utilize as a creator. So I really like this laptop. It's very powerful. And I've actually seen the RTX 3060 version on sale for about $2,000, which I think is a great price point for that laptop. Uh, but you can get the RTX 3070 Ti version for actually around $2,599. Uh, I saw it on Best Buy. So keep an eye out. Maybe that one will go on even more of a sale. Lastly is the MSI Creator Z17. One of the more pricier laptops on this entire lineup, but it's a big laptop, big screen, great color gamut range, aluminum body. It's a really sleek design. I really like it. However, my one drawback is it has a smaller trackpad, which I'm not overly impressed by. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Which laptop are you considering? Definitely comment below and let me know. Otherwise, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. And subs, if this video has brought you some value, help us reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. I'll see you here in the next one.